Welcome to Channel 42, where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is another Factorio Noob Tube, where we cover the basics of Factorio. Uh, we're going to cover belts, and we're going to cover the um, not-so-basic but not-so-intermediate stuff of belts, because belts are pretty complicated. It's a real big topic, lots of discussion. For now, we're going to still be worrying about um, both sides of the belt and how to deal with that. Uh, let me just simplify that a little bit. There, that's prettier. So um, the idea is we've got two sides of the belt, and with these inserters, with these, I'm sorry, with these splitters, we can uh, filter out what goes on which side. So if we, of course, placed two products in this chest, say iron ore and coal, the coal would be filtered to the top lane, the iron ore to the bottom lane. Now, in theory, that should work great. Let's take a look. We've got coal. Oop, let's not put all coal. Let's put two coal and two iron. And as they're being dropped, you'll notice that they go in a great predictable pattern. Problem is, though, that this right here where the red is, that's a little bit of a uh, dangerous thing because this is assuming that the information or the, the raw material is only coming from one side. If you notice, as soon as we bring it from both sides, it's going to mess up and it's going to put ore on the top lane. That's because there's nothing to tell the ore not to go on the top lane. If it's placed on the top lane up here, it comes through here and goes through the top lane over here. We get mixed, and that's not great, because our goal is to get one line of only coal and one line of only ore, so that this thing can continually be fed. If we continue and we get down to here, you'll notice all of a sudden this thing can't function because it has no more coal. And when it runs out, of course, we've got alt on, which I expect um, most people should. That's a standard practice. When it runs out, it will say, we have no more fuel, you'll get jammed up, and everything else won't work in your factory. So the goal, let's go ahead and pick all of this up. That's holding F while you run along it. And, uh, and what we need to do is we need to adjust how this outputs. We're going to use that T that I showed you in the earlier video and do something like that. So now, when we drop all of the material, a couple stacks of that, couple stacks of that, you'll see... All of the ore, no matter what, is dropped on the top side of the belt. Uh, I'm sorry, all of the coal is dropped on the top side. All of the ore is forced to go on this loop and doesn't have an option to go on the top side, always goes on the bottom side. Now, there is still a chance that we'll get backed up in here, but much less likely. If this whole spot fills up with ore, and we might see that here in just a minute, then no more... Uh, coal would fit through and vice versa. So I've just loaded this up with coal. You'll see now it's full of coal and if I put some ore in there it can't get through. So there is a possibility that we will run out but much less likely and this is what we call a lane balancer where we're putting material on both lanes forcing half of it to go on one, half of it to go on the other. The other danger is if we get something like a copper ore in here accidentally, maybe we've got a combined mine uh, ore field, it will go on the same, uh, same side. Oh, um, another quick point. To drop stuff on the ground, you just press the letter Z when it's in your hand. Pick it up, press the letter Z, and you'll drop it. The letter F does the opposite, and that picks it up back in your inventory. But because that copper ore is not coal, it's automatically shunted to the bottom and messes up our, or contaminates our line, which would make some weird stuff when this is looking for steel, uh, I'm sorry, iron, and iron to make iron plates, all of a sudden it gets a different material and it can't switch over. If we empty it, then it's able to switch over, but it gets a little confusing uh, when you are mixing things like that. So generally, try and keep a belt to two products. It gets real confusing if you go to more, but of course, there's always an exception, and I just saw a video where one guy made a contraption to put eight products on one belt. Go figure. Everything you can do with a factory is amazing. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll cover some more stuff in a bit, and uh, always leave comments. Let me know how I can improve, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.